Kia ora everyone. Uh, we are determined, determined to get to the end of this uh, set of questions. This is 7b. We're looking more at strings and using strings uh, in all the ways that we possibly can. We're up to question seven, the challenge question. Uh, this one's going to be a bit interesting. Uh, I haven't done this one before. I'm not quite sure how we're going, going to approach it. So this is a proper look at uh, how my brain works when I'm programming. Uh, let's read. Challenge question. Write a program to ask the user for a five letter word which is checked to see if it matches the word in the program. The user will get feedback about which characters are correct and whether the word they entered was the correct length. Uh, I would do that first if I were programming this. Add code to convert the input word to lowercase so that the capitals don't matter. It's like Mastermind but with words. If you've played Mastermind before you get these little colored pegs and you put them in and you get to see if they're right or wrong. Um, and if you haven't played Mastermind, go play Mastermind. It's good fun. Um, okay. So what do we need to do to start with? Uh, let's start with a random uh, five letter word. No, let's get the user to put it in. Um, so let's get uh, answer is going to equal input uh, we'll just do this for the moment. We'll find out a way to generate a random five letter word uh, later on. Uh, what will the answer be? And dash in that. Okay, so what we need to do now is for, what we, uh, we need to check that it's five letters. Uh, so what we can do here is we can put in a while loop and say, if it's not five letters, we're not going to let you pass this point. We're going to keep asking and asking and asking you until it's five letters long. Um, so while uh, we're going to make ans is going to be equal to nothing. And I'm going to say while uh, the length of answer is not equal to five. Now I have to tab this part in. Why do I have to do that? Because I want that to be within the block, with, with, within the block of uh, the while loop. And that means I have to tab everything that I want in that block inside. Don't forget that colon at the end of the while loop, which I almost did. Um, let's just check that that's working. It's working. Oh, apostrophes. Always co causing problems. That's why you can have both apostrophes and quotation mark. Why are you doing that? I know why it's doing that because I saved, I didn't refresh a sketch. Um, that's because last time I imported a package uh, if you look under files, uh, you'll see there are these package files, including poetry lock. Um, this is gobbledygook. If you watched the last video, you'll know why this is here. Uh, if you didn't, then uh, I imported this from a last, from previous project. I've then since deleted all that code. We don't need it anymore. So I'm going to delete these package files. What these do is to Python, they say, here are all the packages I need, please import them. Um, we don't need to, so we can just delete these. Yay. Um, just for sanity, let's run it again. Yeah, we didn't need to import. You didn't see any of that poetry stuff happening on that side. Um, okay, what will the answer be? The answer will be uh, one, which is only three letters long. Ah, I didn't pass. Maybe here I'm going to say uh, print, please enter a five letter word. Uh, and I'm going to say, I'm actually going to put that up here as well. 
Please enter a five letter word. What will the answer be? Uh, it's going to be three. Ah. That's a problem. Okay, let's, instead of doing that, let's do this. Let's take that and let's put that here. That makes more sense. Four, which famously has four letters. And we're gonna be stuck in this loop until we give it a five letter word like, um, house. It's working, yay, cool, letter checker is working. Okay, now what do we need to have happen? We need to say, uh, we need another variable called guess, and we need to set that to, uh, let's set that to nothing to start with. That's gonna be an empty string. And we're gonna have another while loop. While guess is not equal to uh, answer. While guess isn't equal to answer, we're going to say, uh, we're going to set guess to an input. Um, guess the word. Cool. Uh, now, right, so the user will have guessed the word and it'll be checked there. What do we need to do? First thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna check the length. Um, if we check the length and it's not five letters, we want to go right back around again. Okay, so we're gonna say if len, uh, if length of guess uh, doesn't equal the length of answer, uh, I'm going to say pass. Uh, pass as in, no, I'm not. I'm gonna say print. Please enter a five letter guess. Okay, great, so that's sorted. And now we can say else. So all of the stuff that we want to have happen, um, we want to happen if it was the right length and it's the right length if it's five letters. Okay. I'm gonna just, we're getting a lot of code in here, just gonna make it a bit smaller. Else. Okay. What do we need to do here? A user has put in an answer. They've then put in a guess. We need to go through and check now if each letter of that guess is correct or not so what we need to do is we need to go through each letter and compare them we know there's five letters so what we can say is for i in range for i in what range the range of the length of either word or guess so it should either one is fine so for i in range, length of guess. A little bit of a recap on for loops. Uh, what that's going to do to start with, it's going to come in here. Uh, and what this is saying is for, uh, for each number in, in five, because length of guess is five, it's gonna come around here, it's going to set i to zero. So what we can do is we can say, uh, we can set a new variable, call it something like uh, correct letters. No, I don't need to do that there. I need to do that outside the for loop. Correct letters is equal to zero so far. We're gonna go through each of those letters and compare the first letter in the guess with the first letter of the answer. The second letter of the guess with the second letter of the answer. How do we pull out individual letters in those strings? Well, 
we use those square brackets. So if uh, guess and guess what? Guess zero, guess one, guess two, guess I. Why guess I? Because the first time we go through that for loop, we're going to check the first letter. The second time we go through that for loop, I is going to be one. And we're going to take a look at the second letter. <laughs> the, it's still, still strange to me to this day. If uh, the third time we go through that for loop, I is going to be set to two, and we're going to be taking a look at the third letter of guess. And on and on we go. So we're checking if the ith letter, to start with, it's the first letter, if that's equal to uh, answer, answer I, then we need to add one to correct letters. And then we do that with plus equals one. Correct letters plus equals one. Right. Um, once all of that is complete, whoa, what is happening? Cool. Once all of that is finished, we need to print. You got how many letters correct? Well, ooh. I'm standing in front of the code. Print, you got, how many letters did you get correct? Well, you got correct letters correct. And this is an F string with an F at the top. Notice the color change. You got correct letters correct. Right, so that's that while loop. That's gonna keep going around until we get it right. Uh, what do we want to have happen when we get it right? We want to say, at after our while loop, oh, what happened there? At the end of our while loop, we want to say, print. Well done. You guess the word. Please enter a five letter word. What will the answer be? The answer is going to be house. Guess the word. Oh, oh, not good. Not good. Let's new line that. Start again. Please enter a five letter word. It's going to be house. Guess the word, uh, home. Please enter a five letter word, guess. Guess the word. Uh, uh, rains. You got zero correct. Ooh, I want to say zero letters correct, of course. You got zero letters correct. Um, guess the word. Um, Fames. Still zero correct. Um, house mouse. You got four correct. Of course, we haven't really run it. That would say letters correct now. Um, guess the word. House. You got five correct. Well done. You guessed the word. Um, I'm going to call that complete. Have we done everything we need to do? Uh, no, we haven't. There's one thing we've forgotten. Um, add code to convert the input word to lowercase so the capitals don't matter. Uh, we were just working with lowercase, but if somebody put in house here, so if we reran it, what will the answer be? House. Guess the word. H-O-U-S-E. We would have zero letters correct. That's a problem. Uh, we don't want it to be case sensitive. So, uh, please enter a five letter word. We want 
answer is going to be equal to input dot lower and we can just do that and now that's going to immediately put input dot lower our input all in lower clay all in lower case uh, into answer and when we guess we can put dot lower here as well right there Oh, it always goes funny when I do that. Very nice. Okay, I'll just zoom out. I'll show you the, my complete code. You may have had a different answer. You may have done things to slightly different to me. You may also have a way of um, generating a random five-letter English word. Perhaps you uh, have imported that, uh, that list of words that we used in our Mad Libs. Uh, in our Mad Libs uh, task, and that you checked if it was the length uh, five letters or not, and if it did, you added it to an array, and then you'd made a random choice out of that array. Um, for the moment, what you could do is if you were playing this with somebody else, you could make this a two-player game, and you could get somebody to put in the answer, and then you can just hit clear, and I believe that will still work from there. So that's a way you can fix that for the moment. Excellent. We'll see you next time for part eight.